Welcome to the Dark Wave. Today I'll be going over the huge Switch hacking news that just came out. For the last week, the Tiger X1 boot ROM got leaked, which is copyrighted material. The boot ROM is ran right before the Switch is turned on before the operating system. The ReSwitch team advised against spreading this because it is copyright material and if someone releases the exploit in the boot ROM to be careful and that it affects a large range of devices and no manufacturer can do anything about it outside of recall. Since people release the exploit, the ReSwitch team released Fuse Launcher, which if you have the boot ROM exploit loads it. They also disclosed the exploit publicly by Kate, one of the main hackers in the ReSwitch team. Phil Overflow was talking before about releasing a solderless mod chip which now comes in a picture. It is a simple tweezer mechanism that is placed on the Joy-Con railing which is called Switch Pro X, which looks very clean. You can also do this hack today with a simple pair of tweezers. This works on any version. This hack is mainly for developers. This is one huge step forward for the Switch hacking community. Thank you for riding along the dark wave.